Inheritance is a concept that is used in JavaScript and also in other object-oriented programming languages. So in this video, I'll show you how we can use inheritance in TypeScript. So there are mainly two clauses. One is called implements and the other one is called extends. So let me first show you how implements works. Now we have one class that's a student and let me create one interface. Let's say it's human and we are defining one method body uh, sorry one method without any body in the human interface so inside this class we can implement this interface and now you can see that it sorry it implements okay now it's you can see that it's showing one error that this class should implement this method so if it is implementing some interface then it should implement that method okay so here i have to implement the method then the error is gone so let me print one message here hello from student let me create another interface as well interface people and say again it's similar to the human interface we can implement more than one uh, interface so now i've implemented people now i will have to die implement this method say again saying again okay now i can create one object for student new student and i can call these methods let's say as dot c again and if i save it then you can see that it's printing the uh, printing the values that those are defined here those are written here basically inter implements is used to check if the class are uh, actually this class is using those are defined in the interface so it will not change the type of the class or its other method so if we already have one other method like say hello then it will not change this method it will only check that if it is following what we are defining in the, these two interfaces or not so if i remove this interface then also it will work because it's a different method but if we don't implement any of this method then it will show one error let me show you one more example let's remove this one and for this let me create one variable it's and it's of type number and it's an optional variable now we have to implement this say again i can delete this one we have say hello okay we don't have this say and if i try to access this aids it will show me one error because we don't have aids in this class object we are implementing this interface but we actually don't have the this variable that is defined inside the interface so that's the reason i told you before that it doesn't sense the type of the class or any of these contents then let's move to the next one that is called extends for that let me create another class human say console.log human okay so i've created one class and by using extend we can create one child class so we have to use extends and we have to provide one class we can't use more than one class here we can extend only one class so the human will become the parent class and student is the child class and by default this class this is also called derived class it will get all the properties and all the methods those are defined in this parent class or it's also called a base class and it can also define additional uh, properties or any other methods as well so here we have created this student 
now if i call c then you can see that it's printing human so this is the trial class but it, it got this method from the parent class and if i call c again then it will print the method that is defined in this child class saying it again there is one uh, method, um, there is one concept it's called overriding methods so we can have create one method like similar to that we have in the base class so let's say i'm creating one method here and i'm getting the message that says string it's the same as that is defined in the human class and here i'm gonna check if this message is undefined or not if it is undefined i'll call the method that is defined in this human class so for that we have to use one keyword it's called super so using super we can access the base class so here i can say that call this method if the message is undefined else print inside student class okay let me print that string as well okay here we can print this string now let's call c and let's call c with one string then for the first one it printed in human because it will call this one and for the second one it called inside student class hello inside student class this is the message hello okay so now let's see what it will do if we create the method to it without any params and that's the same method so here I'm gonna print student and you can see that we don't have to use this one and you can see that it's printing student and if you want to call the super C method before printing this then you can call it like that okay let's create one variable here it and let's say its value is minus one and let me print the value if we can access it or not yeah so you can see that we can access the value that is defined in the base class and it's printing minus one and if i create one other value here suppose it is zero then you can see that it's printing zero so it will not print the value that is defined in this base class so that's all for now so if you have any question please drop one comment below and if you love this video please do like it and please subscribe to my channel thanks bye